सर नमस्ते सर नमस्ते नमस्ते सर 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 वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर विद्याशंकर मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग गुड गुड वेरी मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू honorable vice chancellor visheshwarya technological university belgami and the president of today's function professor ps vidyashankar sir esteemed chief guest and speaker of today's session professor anil d sahastrabuddhe ji who is chairman nba netf ec mac and former iict chairman new delhi distinguished registrar professor b rangaswamy raised evaluation professor t n srinivas finance officer shrimati sapna respected principals of various affiliated colleges regional director btu regional office bangalore and uhv coordinator dr sudarshan reddy regional directors of all the regional offices of btu officers of btu center for distance and online education and e learning uhv coordinators and faculty of various affiliated and autonomous colleges including our pg centers and my dear students it's indeed a great pleasure to welcome you all to this fourth session of video uhv monthly online lecture series dedicated to exploring universal human values i'm dr priti pardin faculty department of management studies video center for pg studies mysuru and also the member of uhv committee of video it's my privilege to be your master of ceremony for this online session on universal human values today we have gathered virtually to explore the core principles that connect us as human beings and guide us towards a better world we will understand the significance of universal human values and how these values transcend cultural religious geographical boundaries reminding us of our shared humanity and the principles that unite us all now i request our uhv coordinator dr s r sudarshan sudarshan reddy sir to welcome the virtual gathering sir thank you madam ellarigu namaskaragalu respected dignitaries ladies and gentlemen good morning and very warm welcome to the fourth vhv online lecture i quote from a famous indian guru and philanthropist sri satya sai baba the cultivation of human values alone is education sir i repeat the cultivation of human values alone is education myself dr sudarshan reddy hr btu uhv coordinator and regional director of btu bangalore region feel extremely glad to welcome you all for the online lecture on this occasion we are honored to have the honorable chairman of nba netf and ec nac professor anil d sasrabuddhe sir amongst us sir i extend very warm welcome to you on behalf of vt namaste sir sir we are indeed thankful to you that despite of your very busy schedule you have taken time out to be with us thank you sir we are honored to have our honorable vice chancellor professor s vidyashankar sir with us sir is the backbone and motivational force for all our uhv activities of vtu sir i would like to heartily welcome you to this online lecture welcome you sir i extend my warm welcome to our registrar dr b ranga swami sir Register evaluation, Dr. T N Srinivas sir, and finance officer Sri Mathi Sapna madam. I welcome all the principals of VTU affiliated, constituent and autonomous colleges, staff of VTU and co engineering colleges, and UHV coordinator of various colleges and staff of VTU. Last but not least, I welcome all the students of various engineering colleges. around 220 engineering colleges were joined online throughout this youtube link i welcome all the students to this online lecture finally i welcome pananda thank you thank you sir now i request our honorable vice chancellor prof s vidyashankar sir to deliver the opening remarks sir please yella bigu namaskara the chief guest of today's 
lecture series about universal human values in education. Professor Anil D. Sasrabuddhe, the chairman of NBA, the man with many designations and bad data, and the students as well as the teachers of the entire country knows who is Anil Sasrabuddhe. There was no need to give much introduction about the great personality who has brought tremendous changes in the technical education when he was a chairman of EICT and what are the changes that he has brought being a chairman of NBA. And the principals of all the affiliated colleges the officers at the university and the my dear students of all the affiliated colleges are on, online. All great people of the world have tried to realize the truth and to live by it in terms of love and compassion. One has tried to understand themselves, human beings, Understand the underlying harmony in nature, in existence. Understand the role of human being in nature, in existence, to live by it. Uh -huh. And to develop an equitable and just society, which ensures the well-being of all. PHV is a proposal about the nature, natural laws, about the reality as it is in a way that anyone can explore and understand it on their own right. It follows a process of self-verification on the basis of one's own natural acceptance, leading to self-confidence and self-evolution. To help the students to see the need for developing a holistic perspective of life, to sensitize the students about the scope of life, individual, family, society, and nature for existence, strengthening a self reflection to develop more confidence and commitment to understand, learn, and act accordingly. Universal human values, three components are education and values. Universal human values exemplify living with values, Indian knowledge system, learning and practicing multiple complementary world-class skills that are nature-friendly and human-friendly. The three-week student induction program is to for newly admitted undergraduate students for the new stage in their life by facilitating a smooth transition from their home and school environment into the college and university environment through various discussion and activities before formal classes begin. In line with the thoughts expressed in the NEP 2020, the Student in pro induction program consists of nine modules, out of which one on humor, humor, universal human values, one on health, five on Indian knowledge system, and two on skills. Universal human values are the ethical principles that transcend cultural, religious, and geographical boundaries, serving as a moral compass guiding human behavior these values shared by people of diverse backgrounds promote harmony and empathy and cooperation in society. In the 49th meeting held on 14 March 2017, EICT had approved a package of measures for further improving the quality of technical education in the nation. NEP 2020 has further highlighted the need for rethinking on education for achieving full human potential developing an equitable and just society and promoting national development. AICT is making effort towards technical education, which is holistic, that is value-based, as well as multidisciplinary and taught in multiple Indian languages. The universal human head urge for happiness and prosperity is actually the request for understanding this harmony 
and being in tune with it. The universal human values are the parameters which designate disharmony at various levels for human participation and highlight the universal purpose of understanding the harmony. With this, I conclude my opening remarks. Wish all the students and, and listen to the great man or the great personality who are going to address you as a former chairman of AICT. Thank you, Vandal. Thank you, sir. Your thoughtful words added a meaningful touch to the beginning of this event. Thank you so much, sir, for your gracious presence. Today, we are honored to have with us a distinguished personality whose leadership and vision have significantly contributed to the advancement of education at human values. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce Professor Anil Sahastrabuddeji, who is a renowned figure in the field of technical education, who is currently the chairman of National Educational Technology Forum, that is NETF, Chairman of EC National Assessment and Accreditation Council, Chairman NBA. Sir did his Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical in the year 1980 from Karnataka University, securing first rank and a gold medal. He did his Master's and PhD both from Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. He had brief stints of working as scientific officer in ISC and engineer trainee in Tata Consulting Engineers before starting his teaching career in the newly started Northeastern Regional Institute of Science and Technology, Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh, and Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati, both from their inception. Oh, Sir me. held various responsibilities, such as head of the department, chairman, library committee, and JW, dean academic affairs, and deputy director at IIT Guwahati. He joined as director of College of Engineering, Pune, on deputation, and turned around this institute, bringing it attending among the top 15, 20 institutes in India. Sir joined AICT as chairman in 2015 and transformed its functioning and made it a more vibrant facilitator organization than being a mere regulator through a slew of academic reforms and programs. He is known as institute builder through his contribution in academic, curricular and co-curricular development, entrepreneurship, research and good governance. He has been an architect of reforms in technical education at AICTE, which include mandatory student induction and internship, faculty certification, and adult faculty development programs, creating first ever India's MOOCs platform, SWAM, education re examination reforms, innovation movement, series of hackathons, Indian knowledge system. He supported the development of AI-based tra translation tools to translate contents in English into 12 Indian languages, thereby supporting higher technical education in mother tongue. He has been associated with the several professional societies and is a fellow of IST, IE, IET, and INAE. He is recipient of several awards out of those few are Prash Entrepreneur Award for the year 2011, Jeevan Gaurav Puraskar Lifetime Achievement Award in the year 2019 of MIT World Peace University, Gandhian Peace Award, CSR Times and Indian Achievers Forum, Ravi J. Mathai National Fellowship Award of EMS. Under his visionary leadership, AICT has spearheaded numerous initiatives to promote excellence and integrity in education, fostering the development of future leaders imbued with universal human values. So we are very fortunate to have such a distinguished personality as a speaker of today's online session. Now I invite uh, Professor Sahasabuddhi sir to share his invaluable perspectives with us on how universal human values bring peace and prosperity for mankind and planet. Sir, please. Namaskara. Very good morning to all of you. I hope I'm audible. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The audible. connection, sometimes uh, internet uh, is going up and down. So I just wanted to check. It is okay, sir. It's perfect now. So thank you very much, uh, Riti Patil. Dr. Vidya Shankar, Vice Chancellor of VTU. Registrar, Dr. Rangaswamy. Dr. Srinivas. Dr. Sudarshan Reddy who is the UHP coordinator of VTU, Srimati Sapna, who is the finance officer, 
deans heads of the departments principals directors faculty and students i am very indeed happy that uhp online series has been going on for quite some time and dhyana samwad the team has invited many eminent people in the past to talk about universal human values in the same series i have been given a topic of how uhv brings peace and prosperity for mankind and planet well uh, if i am able to share the presentation it should have been fine but I, even otherwise i will continue without that the That's sharing rights are probably not there i don't think i am able to do it but if i am able to do it i can do it otherwise uh, without that also i can manage is uh, someone who is governing uh, able to give the link uh, for me to share the powerpoint presentation sir you can go ahead with you can share that okay. no but it's not allowing that's why i said okay anyway it doesn't matter without that i will manage but some of the things cannot be probably explained without slide with uh, without diagram that's why i wanted it but uh, even I, I without i will see that i will see that Second. That part is highlighted. <laughs> Sir, it is enabled now. You can share the screen, sir, please. But the arrow mark where we actually yeah, share yeah. is uh, not clickable. I don't know why something has happened. But anyway, leave it. Without that, also we can start. You know, I have my slides in my laptop, and I can speak on that. Well, uh, I'm very thankful, as I said, about why and how. UHV, which is Universal Human Values Program. Sir, one uh, minute. You can share now, sir. We are uh, activating it for you. No, it still doesn't have. Should I check out and rejoin and check? Yeah. Yes, sir. Please. I'll check out and come back. Let me see. Yeah. Yes. Check my note. Hello. Ah, I am going to my internet. I am going to share with you. I am going to share with you.
Sir, kindly send to mail. I have sent a email ID, sir. They will uh, give a presentation from that. They will I will send, send uh, mail? Yes, sir. I have sent a email. Arish Bedigar at Gmail. That is better, sir. I have sent email ID through WhatsApp, sir. No, no. And earlier uh, mail which came from you, can I send it to that same? Sudarshan Reddy, your, uh, your email I shall send. Please, sir. HRSReddy at gmail.com. Please, sir. Has said sent. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, I will forward. <laughs> it has gone to HRS HR uh, HS. What is that? Reddy dot at gmail dot com, huh? Yes, sir. H R S R E D D Y at gmail dot com. Ah, I have sent it there. Okay, sir. Okay, I will find. Or we will continue. I think we will not worry about it. Huh? Sir, I have sent it. Please continue, sir. We will share the screen immediately. Yeah. Within two it's okay. Well, otherwise, uh, all people are waiting, so we will not wait for that. Well, no, sir, uh, we have a presentation also. Please continue. Sir. Uh, you have already shared the presentation? I have shared to the university. They will present, sir. Okay. That's fine. So, we were discussing about universal human values. This is a very important program which we started when I was chairman of AICT based on our experiences in different colleges. And there were already some efforts which had been undertaken in IIT Delhi, then UP Technical University, in Rajasthan Technical University, Punjab Technical University, and uh, Triple IT Hyderabad, PHU 
so we combined all the efforts that were done in so many years you know from late 80s 90s some small step was undertaken in iit delhi from then on there is a history of uh, inculcating values amongst students and uh, knowing all the issues involved in that we undertook an exercise of creating a cell in ai city which will deal with all these issues number 1 number 2 our own experience in the colleges when students join in the first year they come from different backgrounds we call diversity they are coming from different languages different uh, districts sometimes different states even sometimes different nationalities speaking different language their own upbringing is different some of them from rural some of them from urban areas some of them who have gone to convent education some of them in their own mother tongue like kannada marathi like this and then when they start their action in the college or university in the very first year they have come from a very remote place some of them stay in hostel some of them may be day scholars but what they find is there is a mismatch all the courses are generally taught in english in the college and university whereas when the same students were in high school or 11th 12th standard many of them would have studied their subjects in local language mother tongue kannada and everything becomes english so that is the first shock the second shock is some of them in the classroom will start answering the questions asked by the faculty while dealing with the classroom because some of them who have come from as i said english medium they will be able to answer them because they have understood what is the question many a times a student from a rural area probably would not have understood the question itself sir, excuse okay. me sir huh? but it's uh, now they are able to see uh, present the slides your slides they are able to do it yes sir now we are uh, able to see that your slides okay but i am not able to see this uh, second slide you know it is still video logo is seen for me now they will present sir if you permit they will present anyway i i'm continuing with my statement uh, now it is visible go, go to the next slide and then i'm talking i will continue to talk on that second slide next slide please uh, so well uh, these students are totally out of place during that time and some of them who in fact are uh, very bright students in their 10th 11th 12th scoring 85% 90% marks they lose confidence because they feel that they don't know they don't understand and therefore bringing all of them on the same common platform helping each other collaborating with each other was a very important aspect which was missed out in the entire curriculum entire education ecosystem in the past even in the iit delhi and somewhere where the universal human values program was started it was a knee jerk reaction here and there not a holistic approach so the committee which we constituted initially under the leadership of the chairmanship of uh, dr sangal who was a former director of triple uh, it hyderabad as well as uh, iit bhu and then dr rajinesh arora who was a vice chancellor of punjab technical university uh, they with a team of about 75 80 members lot of brainstorming and we came out with a 3 week student induction program but to handle those 3 weeks of student induction program we needed faculty training and therefore one week and two weeks of faculty yeah, training program yeah, in yeah, universal yeah, human yeah. values began i am going to present some part yeah, of yeah. what we discuss in those uh, seminars and webinars or live uh, exercise yeah, of yeah. physical yeah. meetings and then yeah, how yeah, yeah. they in turn will be able to handle the local level in the college and classrooms respective places how do they handle the universal human values program of the first 3 weeks where the curriculum is not there but entirely we want that students should be embedded in universal human values program 
and that is the connection with what we i am going to speak today about how uhv can bring peace harmony prosperity and uh, what we call happiness amongst the mankind as well as in the planet so it has direct relationship that's why i am uh, dealing with some background aspect as, as, as well so when the students in their first couple of weeks go through this exercise they will start mingling with each other much more easily than otherwise they will be able to understand the difficulties of each other they will be able to understand that i know something which the other person doesn't know other person knows something which i do not know and that's how the spirit of collaboration will be there all this aspect which happens at the individual level in a college or a university will have its reflection later in different domains of public life and that is why it is related with the topic on hand well uh, now the slide is available universal human values are nothing but as said by our uh, vice chancellor himself vidya shankar in his uh, opening note that they are ethical principles and these are beyond religion that is they transcend religion they transcend geography they transcend cultures languages caste covering all variety of diversities in your own college or university please reflect or if you introspect you will see that someone has come from tamil nadu someone has come from andhra pradesh someone from maharashtra neighboring states and some of them are from karnataka majority of them of course are from karnataka some students come from middle east and foreign countries as oh, well okay. in our colleges and universities they all oh, speak different okay. languages they have come from different backgrounds of culture maybe their festivals are different their uh, caste may be different so there are huge varieties in terms of all of these issues is the connection uh, available are you able to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir. Yes, 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 sir. 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 Yes, difficulty of each other and in the process they will all start collaborating with each other today in the education sector we often talk about collaboration not working in silos but always work in collaborative mode whether it is for research whether it is for solving problems whether it is in industry whether it is in educational institution so where do students get to learn all of this in the childhood both parents as well as the teachers unfortunately develop a strong spirit of competitiveness competitiveness is required we are no denying a fact that competition exists in the in the nature it exists in the society it exists in the families so that competition is there but along with competition why is a student not also given importance of collaboration cooperation is a moral question which we must address ourselves at all times this is very significant because as i said in family also if a neighbor's child has got more marks the family in the family the father and mother will fire this stone yen ishtu barudilva avun nodu avun eshtu marks bartta idave ninge yak hotta illa ninu sariyagi ant heli so that means this fellow will start getting be little at family level same way teacher also when a question is asked by someone who scores less marks teacher will neglect that so and say you don't understand anything you are always troubling the class whereas probably if a bright student who has not understood ask a question they will be more uh, attentive to that so i think uh, the manner in which we deal with our students our children itself makes a big differential in their lives they carry this message all at clocks and that's why this uh, three week induction program makes realization not only for teachers but the students 
about the strengths and weaknesses of each other. We talk about SWOT analysis. This is nothing but SWOT analysis of an individual. And then this becomes a guiding feature in the rest of the period of their education, four years. Uh, they will start becoming collaborators. Of course, once in a while, uh, in a lighter way, uh, uh, students also ask, Sir, you say that we should be all collaborating in the examination. Why don't you allow us collaboration? We will work together and solve the exam paper. I say there will be projects given. There will be challenging assignments given to you as a part of the program where you have full liberty. In fact, more the merrier. You interact with each other. You collaborate and solve the problem. But the examination which is conducted at the end of the semester that is the examination where your intrinsic knowledge is going to be tested. And that is why even in the era of today, artificial intelligence and chat GPT and open AI, a given assignment can be solved by the student and brought to the classroom and submitted, claiming that he has done everything. A teacher will have a human intelligence, which is beyond artificial intelligence and will be in a position to discern which has come from chat GPT and which has come from the, the student himself or herself. And this can be done by just twisting some element in that and on the spot asking a question to the student. Well, you have done a very good job. You have submitted an assignment. Now, instead of this feature, if the feature is changed, what is going to be the outcome? If the student has definitely, if he has taken AI help, no problem. But if the student has not read it thoroughly, critically analyzed it, analyzation of the domain in which that work has been done, and why chat GPT has given such an answer, if all of this the student has not done, that student will not be able to answer if a slight twist is given to the same question which was asked in the assignment. And therefore... The collaboration is on one front for solving problems which are large-scale problems, maybe problems of the society, problems of the industry, problems of the nature, problems of the uh, sustainability, problems of water, problems of uh, energy which we are facing day in and day out. No individual can solve this. This has to be solved in teams. This has to be solved through the collaboration. But when it goes to understanding the basic principles of the engineering, basic principles of science. Each one must have understood it thoroughly. And that is why there is an examination paper where a lot of questions are asked, which will test your ability to have comprehended that knowledge and that knowledge, whether it is you are in a position to convert it to wisdom. Because whatever chat GPT gives is an information. To convert information into wisdom, you require teachers. From teachers, whatever you acquire as a wisdom to make that's what I'm Madam, disconnect type, huh? Sir. Disconnect type, huh? Oh, Join up, sir. Sir, is the internet issue? Sir, it is muted. Your, uh, this one is muted, sir. Sir, it's muted. Your voice is muted, sir. Sir. Sir, your voice is muted. Okay. Sir, please. Uh, so I think uh, someone muted. I have not muted. Anyway, you go to the slide number two itself. I'm explaining some part of it before I come here. Not able to go back? 
is there sir it is there no i think without telling next slide don't change the slide whoever is operating okay sir <laughs> no, it, it is still on the same slide number five or so. Not able to go back, or I am not able to see. You are not able to see. It is there in second only, sir. It takes ah, some okay. delay. Will be there. Delay. Will must, be there. Ah, anyway, okay. Now these values are to be. inculcated right in those three weeks and this has direct relationship with the later part now go to the next slide third slide next slide so how the connection exists is when we talk about individual that student who is a self individual each self has body mind intellect and soul this is in our ancient indian philosophy we talk about शरीर मन बुद्धि एंड आत्म दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द लिटरल ट्रांसलेशन इन इंग्लिश वी डू मेक इट एज बॉडी माइंड इंटेलेक्ट एंड सोल बट इट इज नॉट एक्सैक्ट ट्रांसलेशन वी के नॉट अंडरस्टैंड अनलेस वी गो इन टू आवर इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस वेर वी शरीर मन बुद्धि एंड वॉट वी कॉल एज आत्म एंड इफ यू हैव टू इंटीग्रेट ऑल ऑफ दिस universal human values does that and if such a individual who is connected between body mind intellect and soul will be able to deliver what all is required in the topic of choice today that is how uhv brings peace prosperity for mankind and planet because if a person has all these elements understood well which i am going to describe little later again that person's ability to share things with family members becomes better we all talk in a family there is a lot of affection between different uh, children there is love between father and son between mother and son between brother and sister we do caring caring attitude is there better understanding if some person in the family has some ill illness immediately all the family members will come for caring with true love and affection no one has sought it your brother being fallen sick having fever as soon as it is noticed mother will give special care the other brother and sister will not object why are you giving more care to him and not to me so that is an understanding which gets developed is it's a natural thing in the today's world of uh, crisis many a families which have become nuclear sub nuclear sub sub nuclear probably this kind of love affection caring understanding is slowly going out also un unfortunately in fact india is the only country or probably one of the countries in the eastern oh. side not the western nations like europe or uh, america or canada or some of these nations we have a very strong bondage and family system and this one will become more stronger if this universal human values course is attended by student and why only student in fact i am saying all family members should attend together some of the problems which exist today in our families will dissolve if we do that and that is why it is very very important next comes the society the families in the neighborhood in an, in and around our colony in our house in our locality there are problems we have seen uh, many a times our home we want to keep it clean and therefore navella kasa tagadmele aa kasagalanna yesud bidthe horgade namma pakkadavar mane nalle bidre namge en tondre illa antara so that is a spirit of not caring and understanding with the neighbor we are cleaning our house but making our neighbor's house unclean is not the spirit and that's why if we have been rooted in universal human values which i again repeat body mind intellect and soul our behavior in family will improve our behavior in society also will improve we will not throw dust and dirt in, in the neighboring uh, locality or if i am staying in the fourth or fifth floor i will not throw the kachra uh, 
and uh, which will go into the second floor or first floor uh, balcony of my neighbor in the vertical neighborhood not horizontal neighborhood so both vertical and horizontal neighborhood is important many a times we listen to stories that in cities like mumbai or in delhi those who stay in apartments uh, what happens in the neighborhood in the next immediate flat is not known sometimes it has come to notice that some person old gentleman or lady very old age person passes away and it is not even noticed couple of days later when it starts smelling they will open the door and find that the person is no more these are unfortunate incidents which we have been look at you know looking at once in a while it comes in the newspaper so therefore if our whole universal human values philosophy is embedded i'm sure uh, from family to society in the neighborhood our behavior will be better again when we come to village the entire neighborhood all of them or the entire district or taluka or the entire state how do we expand our whatever we are doing to not small entity but larger and larger entity leading to the nationhood we all say that uh, for our nation we always say that nationalism is important but even going beyond nationalism to the entire committee of nations is also going to be important and if that spirit is imbibed by all of us then there will be certainly the world peace so irrespective of as i said again repeat culture languages festivals this is food habits climate we can be together and this is also leading to the next level which is not just uh, human beings that is homo sapiens but also the other world of animals be it dogs cats elephants tigers lions you know we will start looking at all of these animals also part of the gift of the nature and how we are connected with them may not be bodily but in terms of intellect we understand and then at the highest level that is the level of atman how we are creative creatives or creations of the great creator that is almighty so once we realize that we will have much better affection towards animal world as well same is the case with the plants one time ago people were not accepting that plant have feelings life everything life they understand because it grows but like human beings they also have feelings was not realized it is the boss is who gave this idea and many years people laughed at this idea but today it has been proved scientifically that if you murmur in the ears of uh, two saplings which are kept different places same time seed is sown and in one of the saplings you keep on telling that you are nice you are great you are good it develops faster better and very lush green and the other one for whom you keep saying that you are useless you are not growing you are bad it will further crumble and this has been proved now so they have feelings maybe we are not able to see how they get it they are very puzzling matters but uh, some kind of waves must be going from our uh, human beings to them and then they will be able to react to that in that manner and same way we have mother earth which we all respect and then uh, challenges and uh, exploitation which happens in that is also very very crucial and important we are all aware that uh, the challenges that exist in our country is of a different nature when we talk about exploitation nature has several resources which exist but unless we use as much as is required and not exploit this challenge is going to be more and more there is a climate change you know climate change which has affecting the entire nature is because of over exploitation of the resources therefore sdg goals have come sustainability goals 17 of them decided by united nation we all talk today of net zero carbon footprint carbon credits why did we come to all of this if we had understood truly the universal human values 
the chain from self to family to society to village to district to state to nations to the entire community com community of nations we would have taken care of nature in the best possible way and the title which is suitable is uhp brings peace prosperity for the mankind and and planet in nutshell is is understood and that's why in our whole existence the consciousness is, plays a very important role how are we are uh, going to deal with our consciousness which is a universal consciousness connected with the consciousness of the other human beings other animals plants as well as what we call as god go to the next slide please now therefore if we have to maintain peace prosperity and happiness all these elements from self to the entire planet are to be connected with each other their linkages have to be understood while doing all of this we must know resources are limited whether it is land forests animals minerals oil food water rivers lakes even today air is also limited air may be there everywhere but pure air is limited so when the resources are limited how do we engage and make use of them in a माइक्रोफोन गोईंग समन इज स्विचिंग इट ऑफ और वॉट now it is audible yes sir it's audible yes. yeah so war or choice is the is the choice of the people and uh, when this choice is available if we don't execute the choice properly then naturally there is not going to be peace in the world and this choice is to be exercised by the entire humanity it is not just uh, citizens of only karnataka or citizens of india but the citizens of the whole world all people unfortunately they are still not at the same level of understanding of universal consciousness as exists in our country and therefore we have a greater responsibility to play and how can we do it is through education and education becomes very very significant and important next slide please next slide it is not changing yet sir it is changed 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 yes sir first correct next next slide i am not able to see the change anyway it it's there sir it takes one minute delay oh that is the problem anyway uh, so holistic perspective for education starts with right understanding understanding harmony in human being family society that is very important and then if we expect justice to us if we expect a person to respect me should i also not do justice to the other person should i also not respect the other human being and that understanding is important if that understanding comes then participation in whether at the level of uh, individual body we often give an example you know you start with the human body single body if our left hand is injured in some accident does your right hand say that you go to hell and i will not bother about you will the right hand immediately its fingers go there then make a bandaid 
put it on that and save that particular left hand from getting further disturbed and agony. Same way in the family, as I said, mother will take care of the children. If someone is sick, other children do not object to that. So we are doing not just justice, but there is a relationship between people to people, human to human, from starting from one body part to the other body part to the one element of the family to the other element of the family and same is extended to one family to the the neighborhood to neighborhood to the village or town or the state to the nationhood to the rest of the world and that is the entire human goal this is the un universal human order no one need to tell us except during education if we understand this nuance in an excellent manner then there will be no problem Please go to the next slide, please. I'm not seeing the change at all, so I don't know. It takes a delay, sir. It's there. No, this is my Easter next. I have said next. It is there, right? I understand. Ah. This is over already. That's what I'm saying. You are, when I say next, it is not going to the next. Anyway, uh, let it be delayed, it doesn't matter. So I said, we should start with harmony in the individual, harmony in the family, harmony in society, harmony in natural existence. If there is right understanding, this is going to happen. And uh, if we live in harmony at all these four levels, I'm sure that uh, the world peace is no far away from Realization, it will certainly be realized. Next slide. Next to next slide, in fact. We are talking about harmony in human being. Harmony in human being. Is it coming? Yes, sir. ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ This is a very important philosophy which will take us to the next level. So that's why I'm going a little bit more detail in this part. There is a need. We all know. In fact, uh, there is a need of a body which is physical and there is a need which is beyond body's needs and that is which is what we call the need of the self or the consciousness that there is some need which is beyond body for example what does body need it requires food it requires water it requires uh, breathing air it requires clothing uh, it requires uh, also what we call uh, uh, living in a habitat or some kind of a or uh, maybe jhopri or maybe a big house or big a palace huh? you need something to live something to eat something to drink and breathe air this is a bare minimum and that's why often we keep talking about next one it, it, this is not the one i'm saying this but the next one we were looking at so we have a roti kapda makan this is what we often say so that is the basic need we today require further more physical needs some time ago maybe 100 200 years ago we were happy with roti kapda makan so if you get two square meals if you get to wear something dress and a house to live we are happy and that was happiness but today we require to go to uh, the uh, traveling places for tourism we want sometimes to go to a hotel and then eat some lavish food we also want to own a car we also want internet at home so that we will be able to watch uh, videos and television all of this the physical 
needs have been increasing gradually and therefore a lot of exploitation of resources is also happening in the nature but when it comes to the true happiness of coexistence which is at a different level where i may have full food everything but if someone comes and brashes me and says that you are all useless and and abuses me it will take away my respect in the public domain in front of all people and i feel unhappy about it so the need is one is physical and the other is you may call spiritual you can call self and one of the domains where we look at it is in time domain the physical needs are temporary you know you satisfy that moment you are hungry you get food and that is satisfied you don't have that need any more for maybe 5 hours 6 hours but the self which uh, has a human being content with whether it is mind or heart wants respect all the time no one can abuse me any time i will not accept it so this is how the feeling is there and as far as the quantity is concerned maybe in body it is quantity is required in limited quantity but in terms of uh, quantity all the time qualitatively very high feeling is required for a human being now the question will therefore will arise are all these types of needs important do we want them to be satisfied can we go beyond them this is a question which philosophers have been asked and then they have been replying many a times and uh, there is a famous statement that you cannot uh, preach philosophy in an empty stomach that means those basic needs are a must for the body but some of the great philosophers and people have abandoned taking food by doing what we call upavasa for many days for them this need doesn't exist but they still have the need for righteousness the need for self therefore these two needs are of a different variety is to be understood and a human being requires both these requirements to be satisfied if you are having all food and uh, water house etc you will still many times be unhappy if you are not being respected in the society if you are not able to contribute if you are not in a happy state of mind you will become unfortunately miserable so that is why the understanding harmony within body itself is very important body mind as i said the intellect and the the atman next slide please hello next slide so what we need to do is once we have the right understanding we should also decide what is our priority to what extent i need what both in terms of time and effort we must be able to understand the nuances of that this physio chemical things which are required for the body how much quantity that's why for living comfortably you may require some house which is of maybe 3 to 4 rooms parent will have a separate room you have a separate room maybe your kids who are studying will require a separate room at most three rooms one common kitchen and dining other than this four five rooms what more is required if you create a house with some 100 rooms do we really need that and therefore there must be a boundary to be decided by individuals that how much of physical needs are required both for body for living and for surrounding and then what type of facility we should create beyond that you know someone will say if i get a bicycle is good enough someone will say car is required someone will say this car is not enough i want a most luxurious car someone will say i need a jet i can travel any time i like uh, fly so that way the needs are increasing depending on what you feel as what is your requirement and unfortunately this need becomes greed and then when it becomes greed you can never get peace because if you try to keep on increasing your wealth and getting more and more luxurious items for you and in the neighborhood if someone is not even having two square meals 
he will not stay as he is and he will start creating something by which you will also get into trouble so the coexistence is important you know coexistence and collaboration you may not give all the property of yours to him if you find someone to be hungry can you not give a piece of bread to him so that he will also feel satisfied and happy is what if we are able to do all the problems in the society starts dissolving whether it is at the societal level or as we go beyond at the national and international level next ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿ ಸರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡು ಸೋ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ಮೇಕ್ देम ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಎನಿವೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ದ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ 10 ಬಿ ಇ ಸಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಎ 10 ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ so as i said happiness uh, it has two uh, angles physical and need need wise physical is one and uh, self and body we are distinguishing going further once we understand in the right perspective our desires will start getting limited our thoughts and expectations will start imagining less requirement and uh, we will be in a position to satisfy not just temporarily but even continuously that means uh, all the time we will remain happy immaterial of what happens bc next slide 11th oh ilip ilip oh so we have already talked about need for self continuous happiness need of consciousness all this is fulfilled by right understanding which i have been repeatedly saying that starts from that universal human values first three weeks program for the students right feeling in the self and that's why when college students come for the first year from their homes in engineering their first imagination is or expectation is after i complete my graduation after four years what will be my package whether it will be minimum 5 lakh package or 10 lakh package or 20 lakh package is the question which they are all the time thinking there are students in this platform please understand you may get that money someone will get package one who does not get that high package will become unhappy but he is also able to survive he is getting food clothing health shelter he is also getting a car to drive he is also going for tourism ನೀವು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಎಲ್ಲಕ್ಕೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹಾಕ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬೇಕೆಟ್ ಸರ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ತಗೋತೇ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರು ಲಾಗೌಟ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಬೇರೆ ಮಾಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ನೀವು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾವುದು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಈಗ ಚೀಪ್ ಮೂ ಹೋಗಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸರ್ 
सर काइंडली अनम्यूट सर someone is doing it some no, administrator is doing it no sir maybe there is a uh, some internet issue from your side sir no that's why i stopped my video yeah yeah video. now it's it, it's audible sir please sir no uh, video consumes a lot yes yes please yeah so we have uh, this uh, experiential learning which we call anubhav shibir see a person who is not having uh, two legs because of uh, whatever reason in accident or by birth or uh, some problem happened if you tie the legs and ask the person to walk or to move around that person will realize the difficulty setting idhar kiya ka nahi udhar youtube mein main you close the eyes and one who is blind or one who is disabled in terms of uh, eyesight what is the difficulty that person goes through you will realize in a dark room if you have to move around you will realize the difficulty and therefore that empathy gets created in the human beings you know whether it is hearing impaired whether it is visually impaired whether it is the physical some disability i think this experience is also very important for students and the similar experience go and stay in the house of a village person very poor family how they live in small house in one small room 10 people are living you will get to realize that how luxurious i am living and then you don't start cribbing and looking at someone else who has higher bigger house or oh, he has so much you will start stop doing all of that and that experience and uh, anubhava is very very important and you start associating with others someone will start working in social field to an ngo go to a village and uh, or a uh, slum start helping so this is all what is possible in a theoretical lecture like this i may be speaking all of this because i am online away from you but if a teacher in a college or a classroom in a high school or in a university says all of this about introspection meditation helping others being empathetic and that person himself is not practicing no one will respect no one will take that form so one has to practice before you start preaching is a very vital very important thing one has to tell all teachers and students whatever you want to say you first practice and then then only you start preaching wo dono jana i often tell the story of uh, one of the saint in maharashtra you must be knowing there was sant ramdas who was a guru for shivaji maharaj and uh, one lady went to sant ramdas and said uh, you tell my student my son he eats lot of joggery us time mein to chini nahi thi na the sugar was not there that time still sugar cane was there and sugar cane juice was used for creating joggery bella madake so bella tintan tumba on heli bella tinbadu and then uh, that uh, sant ramdas said you come tomorrow tomorrow after one week he started telling come after one week after that he said come after one month and finally after about 6 months one fine day he said to the child don't eat joggery bella tinbada then that mother was totally shocked you only said one sentence you didn't do any magic except all these days you are asking me to come tomorrow 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 like this why did you do that you could have told it in the first instance itself then that uh, gentleman our swami ji says i myself was eating joggery how can i tell the child that don't eat when i myself eat it it will spoil your teeth how can i tell when i am eating so i had to struggle 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 to come out of that and now today i can with all the strength which is the power that i can tell that don't eat this is what is practicing and preaching next slide please next nahi hai slide number 12 sir hello sir it is there slide number 12 no next one has not yet come 
If it, it has come and I'm not seeing anyway, it doesn't matter. So, uh, uh, it's most of the things are going to be repetition now. Physical facility certainly required for nurturing, protection, <laughs> right utilization, strength, working. Uh, I cannot say that don't eat any food and still yeah, continue that working. That's not going to be feasible, possible. So, we need that. But at the same time, we must know the famous statement of <laughs> that of the... Mahatma Gandhiji, that there is enough for everyone on this planet, but not enough for the greed of even a single individual. So I think that is what is to be remembered and understood by all of us. Next one. I think we can leave it at this juncture because uh, there is a gap which is happening and secondly, Already time is up. So if at all you go to the slide number directly 20. Yes, sir. It is 20. 20. Uh, you have come to slide number 20, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not seeing it, but it will come anyways uh, after some time. This is about uh, strife and wars. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Uh, see, all the earlier slides gave us what and how, why. What, how and why of universal human values. They are universal. Whether you go to America or Russia or India or Pakistan or China or Japan. But despite this, what we see today is there is a strife and a war. It is at all levels. You take, for example, river waters. There is a tribunal in India. There is a law. But still, when some quantum of water from Kaveri is given to Tamil Nadu, immediately there are dharnas in Karnataka. And if water is not given, there are dharnas in uh, and the strikes in Tamil Nadu. So is not water a resource, a river a resource for all human beings, including Karnataka citizens and the Tamil Nadu citizens. Whatever amount is required for you and me has to be shared. If it is less, both share less. If it is more, both share more. When it becomes heavy, rainfall and dams are full, we want to that time release water and create flood in the other state. But when there is a shortage of water in the other state, we don't want to leave water from our dam because we want more water. I think this is what is the strife which happens in terms of boundaries, even interstate boundaries between different states. There must be some uh, problem or the other happen. And at national level, more problems, whether it is India, China, whether it is India, Pakistan, whether it is Pakistan, Afghanistan whether it is Russia and uh, Ukraine and all of that. And then some countries are subjugated. You know, we all know the whole world was subjugated in a way for a long time by Britain, UK. They used to say that sun does not set in the kingdom of uh, Queen of England. Because it was ranging from Australia right up to the western side entire Europe and all of that was controlled by UK at one point in time. Similarly, sometimes France, sometimes Germany, and also many European countries came here. The Spanish people and uh, many others went to US and uh, the Southern American states and captured them. And even in the modern era, we are seeing this happening in Russia, it happening in, in the China and all of these places. So I think conflicts have been enormous. There have been enormous conflicts which we have seen all around and therefore leading to wars, whether it is India-Pakistan war, India-China war, Russia-Ukraine war. And we are visualizing today Israel and Palestine on the Gaza Strip, Israel and Middle East, whether it is Iran, Iraq. And uh, there is a United Nation which is supposed to control, which is supposed to keep peace in the whole world. But uh, it is almost like a lame duck. It will take some resolution. 
but there is no listener to that you know the people who are uh, fighting with each other they don't care what uh, united nation is doing then then there are sometimes united nations peace keeping force to go to that nation and control the the entire territory so why is it all happening that is because all of us all the citizens of the world i'm not talking about only karnataka or or in india but the whole world we have not understood the true meaning of self beyond self to family to society to the nations despite diversity there are basic minimum needs of the human being which is again roti kapda makan and today we may require internet electricity and transportation vehicle etc but this is a minimum need which is there and whether each one of us is getting it if not all of them are getting it how do we empower them to get it and that through the mutual respect it is not doling out something it is not free bees but give enough work for the individual because each individual has strength has arms has legs can do the work so can we give work to every individual jobs for all and also pay for all and in the process each one can buy what he needs which is a minimal need of the person and ultimately can the person be mutually respectful and then be happy i think this is what is <coughs> the true understanding which has to evolve from our universal human values program if we do it successfully in our college university and gradually in the entire uh, our state our nation i am sure some day we will be able to tell the whole world about all of this and some examples are already there please remember our uh, international yoga day in one shot when modi ji said we should follow it the whole world accepted if something is visible which is very clear that it is helpful it is good for everyone i am sure that every country will start following our own indian knowledge system is very powerful universal human values program very powerful social internships contributing back to the society is so important if we start following all of this in our colleges and university i'm sure uh, we will get the whole world's attention and that is happening as i said today when there is a uh, conflict between israel and palestine or russia and ukraine it is not the big super powers of uh, uh, us and china but they all big five they are requesting india prime minister modi to intervene and solve the problem how did it happen that is because our culture our philosophy of uh, universal human values is like that of a role of a mother motherly nature we take care of our children that means we take care of entire citizenry the next next uh, slide next slide that is 21 so happiness is certainly a state of harmony state of uh, goodwill state of helping each other self state of collaboration cooperation empathy and if this is not followed it will create unhappiness so it is a state of contradiction where theoretically we know that we have to help the other person but we don't do then it will create unhappiness within you may not realize it you may not see it but internally you will be always at strife with yourself and therefore the peace the prosperity the happiness of the individual can be extended easily to family neighborhood village town and the entire globe and our very famous uh, philosophy of vasudhaiv kutumbakam the whole world is one family even in g20 this was the slogan that uh, one world one vision and one goal so that means the whole world is one family united nation also talks about it internationalization uh the entire world being one family today they also talk about um, uh, mother earth all the philosophy of india are being accepted sarve janah sukhino bhavantu sdg goals are nothing but sarve janah sukhino bhavantu so therefore our values our indian knowledge system our national education policy if implemented in right earnest we will be able to create happiness prosperity peace in the entire globe or the world
think that is all what it is thank you very much be happy thank you and if there are some probing questions you are most welcome to ask some of them thank you so much sir for such an enlightening session your dedication to education and inspiring the next generation on such a fundamental aspect of humanity is truly commendable your presence here today has left a lasting impact on our students empowering them to embrace universal human values in their lives and interactions we are deeply grateful to you for generously sharing your time and wisdom with us today now it's time to extend a heartfelt uh, gratitude to all those who made this event possible first and foremost we would like to express our gratitude to the esteemed speaker professor anil sahasrabuddhe sir for graciously accepting our invitation and delivering such an insightful address your expertise and eloquence have truly enriched our knowledge thank you so much sir i extend my sincere gratitude to our honorable vice chancellor professor yes vidyashankar sir for gracing us with his presence his leadership and vision continue to inspire all of us in whatever we do here thank you so much sir i would like to express my sincere thanks to our registrar professor b rangaswamy sir registry evaluation professor g s jeeva sir and uh, finance officer shrimati sapna madam for their valuable support and guidance thank you sir a heartfelt thanks to all the principals uhv coordinators and faculty for joining us from various affiliated and autonomous colleges we extend our appreciation for your support in making this event possible special thanks to all the students for their participation your presence here today is vital to the success of this session i thank all the regional directors of various vidu regional offices for their support throughout this event a special thanks goes to our cnc team belgami and e learning team led by dr p sandhya for ensuring the smooth conduct of this online event thank you your behind the scene efforts are greatly acknowledged thank you so much for that dr team i would like to thank our uhv coordinator dr sudarshan reddy sir for his efforts and support in conducting this event my thanks to all the chairman and program coordinators of various departments other uhv committee members uhv coordinators of various uh, ug programs faculty and staff of utu so as our session draws to a close i want to express my gratitude to each one of you for your active participation let's remember that by upholding uhv beings values we can create a world of uh, compassion understanding and respect for all before we sign off i would like to remind you all to stay connected with us for future events and resources on this important topic together let's continue the uh, championship of universal human values in everything we do thanks once again to everyone for joining us with us today have a great day jai hind jai kisan thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir namaskar namaskar sir नमस्कार